Junk or gem comes at the perfect time since wedding season has officially kicked off. But as NBC 15's Meredith Barrick shows us, the item is something you probably wouldn't see at a wedding today. Hi, Meredith. Good morning, Ashley. Most of us are familiar with the ring bearer carrying the rings on a small pillow down the aisle. But as we're about to see, that wasn't always the case. I saw the item and, and I, I couldn't turn it down. I just kept calling my name. So, so I bought it and, and the more I looked at it, the more it became more interesting, more interesting. So I kind of felt it was an heirloom kind of piece. So I've had it ever since. Dan Andriola says he found the small purse at a pawn shop in Beloit and paid about $150 for it. I just thought it was really cool. Ricardo Paoli of Rick's Old Gold says two stamps show the purse came from far away. These are both places, Wartime City and Barber Barbaria. Usually there's the icons represent a time and a date, maybe an artist signature. But what you have here is a ring bearer's purse. Also known as a chatelaine purse, the front shows the bride preparing for her wedding. On the back of the purse, the man is standing there. They're doing the hem on his wedding attire, and he's wearing a sword. That means there was military involved. And the top of the bag shows two hands joining in everlasting love. The men's ring goes in the top. The woman's ring goes in the bottom chamber. They're protected. That's actually silk. That's the original insides of the purse. It was actually used and probably stored in a drawer, put away forever. A gem dating back to the late 18th, early 19th century. It's rare. You don't really see that many of them. It, this is a six, $800 piece online at a, at a big time auction. Dan says he plans to keep the I do accessory, but one question still lingers. It's cool. You know, it's, it's going to be around a long time. And, and I, how it got from Europe to here is still, you know, what's the story behind that, yeah, you know? Thanks. A truly unique gem, and if you have something you'd like to see featured on Junk or Gem, we are always looking. My email address is at the bottom of the screen. Just send some pictures and a description of what you have my way.